Hello viewers and welcome back to episode 8 of Saving South End with me, Bell Nation. Today we take on Colchester and potentially Leighton Orient. I say potentially take on Leighton Orient, we could wrap up survival, or safety sorry, against Colchester today. There are three places below us in the table, but as we saw in the episode last week, we've not had a good time against them recently when they came back and drew 3 all after we were 3-2 up. Let's roll the intro and get straight into these games. But just quickly before we get into that viewers, as you can see, since we last met against Scunthorpe and Carlisle, we're unbeaten in four. We followed the 0-0 draw with Carlisle with a one all draw at Morecambe, where we were 1-0 down and Lundulu scored to make it 1-0. And then we had a goal fest against Crawley Town where we won at 5-2. They were 1-0 up, we pulled it back to 1-all, then went 2-1 up, then it became 2-all, then we went 3-2, 4-2, and then Ashley Nathaniel George made it 5-2 with five minutes to go. A really, really good performance and a goal fest I was not expecting against Crawley. So naturally we followed that up with two 0-0 draws against Harrogate, who have now been relegated, and Exeter, both away from home. We play Colchester away from home today. Hopefully we can pick up the much needed three points. Let's look at the starting 11 for today's game. And here we are then. The start 11 for today is Oxley in goal, Knipriu at left back, Lennon and Bruce in the centre with Bowoma on the right. Jagney in the defensive midfield with Gard and Burden in the centre. Egbury on the left hand side of the midfield or the attacking side of the midfield and Godship, Goodship on the right. And Aquea is leading that line for us. A little bit of fitness issues because we're playing a lot of games so quick. This is on a Tuesday night, so that's why not a lot of the first teamers are playing. Does that go against us today? Potentially. Fingers crossed so it won't and we can at least pick up a point. Ideally, the three. And here we are then. Kickoff is underway here at Colchester. As I said in the intro, we had that disappointing 3 0 draw where we were 3-2 up at home. Can we turn them over in their back garden in the Essex derby? And they go 1-0 up after just seven minutes. Oh, that's not the way we wanted to start the game. <laughs> seven minutes in, we are 1-0 down. And that's a really disappointing start to this game. Just far too easy on that left-hand side. There's two players there that he's got past. And Senior has got in behind. I think it's Bawomo. And he's made that look far, far too easy for them there. That's not what we needed at all. We're going to... We're going to demand more from the boys. Jagney with the ball in. Guard, he's off the, he's off the post. Jagney with a lovely ball in and Guard hits the post from the resulting free kick. Oh, and that's frustrating. That would have been... Oh, if we could have pulled them back so close. Egbury into Knipriu. What can he do? Plays it inside and looking for Jagney, but Colchester win it back in, in their dark blue today. Greenwood one-on-one. -on -one. It's gone from bad to worse. All oh, coming from Knipriu's poor, poor throwing. A long ball over the top has caught us right out there. And Greenwood makes it 2-0. This happened last time, though. We were 2-0 down. We pulled it back to 2 all. Went 3-2 up before eventually joining 3 all. Can we do the same again today? We're going to demand more out of those boys. We need to see something else from them so far, which we have not seen and has been really, really disappointing. Coming up to half-time now. Nothing has happened since that second goal for Colchester, but we have played really poor all round. I do think the tiredness is affecting us today. We're going to ask the boys to show us something else and just tell them we aren't happy with what they're put on out there because we are not. They've been absolutely shocking. Second half is underway now. We need a big, big second half here. This result at the moment... Although there's a highlight here, so hopefully we can pick a goal out here. But Wormer on this right-hand side, just leisurely with a cross in, and a, it's a poor, poor cross that's met by Colchester head. They've outclassed us in every single department today, but a good challenge by Burden. Guard wins it back following Greenwood's challenge. Jagney into Lennon now, bringing it forward from the centre-back. Looks for a long ball down the left-hand side and finds one. Egbury with a tame effort straight at the goalkeeper. He's picked up the rebound, he's challenged, and it's cleared into the stand. This result at the moment takes us, with three games to go, eight points clear of the relegation zone. 
if we pick up a point today we are all but safe it's time for a sub 20 minutes to go we're going to bring on Lundulu. P Pochettino comes on for Eggbury. We're going to make the triple sub here, viewers. And Oli Naka comes on for guard. We need to see something from this triple substitution. That Saturday game really has affected us today. Just made the boys oh so tired. And we've not been able to cope with the fitness levels today. Colchester with another ball. Bruce heads it away now into Lundulu. It was challenged far too easily there. Makes himself look really lightweight up front. Olenaka though in the centre now. Out to Goodship. What can he do? Feeds it back inside. Goodship now gets it back from Jagney. Burden into Jagney again. Long ball looking for Ndulu and it's met by Colchester once again. Goodship has it now. Feeds it back into Jagney. Just playing it around him. Everything seems to be going through Jagney at the moment. Into Olenaka edge of the area. Can he pre on this left hand side? Can he get a ball in? He can. Goodship is quick to fly in, but Ndulu's got his goal. His sixth goal of the season. Nine minutes to go. The keeper's trying to block the ball. I've not seen that before in the game either, viewers. I quite like that as a little feature. Canipri with a lovely ball in there. Good ship. He's unlucky that it's cleared off the line, but the rebound is lucky that it's fell straight to Lundulu's feet, who pokes it home into the back of the net. And there we are. It is 2-1. Nine minutes to go. Can we pick up that point that we so desperately need? Come on, boys. Bawomo. Is this the chance? Bawomo with another poor, poor throw there. Gives it straight to Colchester, who come down on this left-hand side. This is their first real attack of the second half. Are they going to score from it? Oh, I thought they were then. Bawoma is there to clear it from his own mistake. Up their end of the field, they've somehow got a corner from it. And we deserve everything we get today. It's absolutely terrible. Colchester again, just putting all the pressure on us. Swarmy now into Bernab. They're playing it backwards, so they are going the right way, but we can't win that ball back. Horrendous, absolutely horrendous performance there. And in such a big derby, in such a big game. Awful. And there we are then. Three games to go. We are nine points clear, but Carlisle do have a game in hand on us, so it could still swing just. I still think we've got enough just to get out of this because it would take a lot of teams below us to also pick up points as well as Carlisle rather, winning all their games. Join me again in a minute and we'll take on Leighton Orient who are placed just above us. And here we are then, viewers. Welcome back for this crucial game against Leighton Orient. A lot of the big hitters are back following their rest in the week, which did go against us. The starting 11 is Oxley and Gore, Ralph at left back, Lennon and Bruce in the centre with White on the right, Dieng in that holding midfield role, Olenecke and Burden in the centre with Pochettino on the left hand side, Nathaniel George on the right, and Lundulu leads that line for us. We are looking for a positive response from the boys today. It is vital that we know, go out and get those three points. We are the favourites in today's game as well, which is something we're not really used to or haven't been used to this season. And here we are. Last six matches, only show five bits of form. Good. Brilliant bit of bug there. Brilliant bug. I do like this, though, when we can see all the faces in the starting lineups. Leon Gall, I recognise him. Joby McEnough, he scored against us earlier this season as well. And this is the table today. So three games to go. Leighton Orient are a point above us. And we are eight points off the relegation zone with Carlisle drawing their game in hand. Kickoff, has, we've already got a highlight after just 20 seconds there. But Mark Oxley makes a save. And it's another Leighton Orient highlight. Just a minute later, Bruce into White clears it long though. And it's picked up and comes straight back down from a Leighton Orient foot. And it's just hoofed in. And Leon Gall, it's disallowed. Oh. Leanne Gall offside after just two minutes of play. I mean, it was absolute hoofball there, viewers. And he's a good few yards offside. Good to, good finish from Leanne Gall there, to be fair to him. But thankfully, it is ruled out for offside. We need to be testing the goalkeeper today. John White heads it away. It seems like those demons from the Colchester game are still lingering over us. Maguire drew now on this left-hand side for late. Now he gets a ball into Leanne Gall, who's who, he's fired it wide. At the moment, we are staying up with Carlisle drawing by looks of it. So they look like they are going down, or we are certainly clear of them anyway with two games to go. McEnough in the centre for Leighton Orient now. 
but Lennon hoofs it straight forward. Lundulu picks it up. Can he break away from his man? He can't. He plays it back to Nathaniel George. Oh, my word. Ashley Nathaniel George with an absolute wonder strike. That has got to be goal of the season. His 11th goal of the season. It's hoof long from Lennon there. Lundulu can't really go anywhere. He sees Nathaniel George, who just takes one touch and absolutely he lobs the keeper from such a way out there. What a finish that is by Nathaniel George. If that isn't goal of the season, I don't know what is. That is an unbelievable finish from him there. And what a way to take a 1-0 lead here. Leighton Orient with the throw in now into McEnough, who's just playing it around themselves now in that centre and bring it down on this right hand side. Can we defend this ball? Short ball into Angle. Short ball to Wilkinson. It's 1 1. Instant reply there from Leighton Orient. And we've not dealt with the attacking forwards there at all. Just got through us all too easily with those short little balls. Tick attacker style football here in League Two. This ball, particularly from Angle, we've not dealt with at all. Wilkinson's just got in front. Of Ralph there, who's not covered himself in glory. Oh, they're showing it again. It, it's a lovely goal. He's just on side as well. I mean, he's timed his run to absolute perfection when coming back, and that is a that is a great goal. If if there's a goal you want to concede to someone, it looks like that. Ralph ball in. It's just headed along. Pochettino picks it outside the edge of the area. Back to Bruce now. Can he find a forward pass? And he's lost it, but thankfully White hoofs it long again, looking for Pochettino. And it's not gone anywhere. But Lundulu picks it up out of nothing. Burden now looks to feed and Lundulu and just can't get there. It's just ahead of him. But the idea is there and it's the right idea as well. A positive idea. Olinaka looks to chase the ball down in the centre. Coming down this right-hand side now. Ralph needs to do better than he did last time. On this left-hand side now. Maguire Drew hits the post and Wilkinson on the rebound. It's 2-1 late and are in. Two counter-attacking goals. Well, one counter-attacking goal this time has absolutely killed us there. Unbelievable that we've let him Wilkinson come in. Ralph again at fault. He's just lost him. He's nowhere near Wilkinson there at that back post. Nathan Ralph, what a shocker he's having. How is he getting a 6.6? .6? Even that's too good for him. Even that's too high. Five minutes before half-time. And it's time to fire. Encourage. We'll, we'll drop some encouragement on the boys. But there we are, half-time here, disappointing. We told everyone with a furious with what they've done out there. They've been really, really terrible. We were favourites for this in this game for a reason as well. The second half is underway, though. No real highlights at the moment. Oh, my word. Can we get a goal back here? As Carlisle are losing two bottom players to Harrogate, which means we will stay up as Angle's in here. Oh, and a good save by Oxley to tip it over the bar. We started out so well as well after the just before the goal. Lovely bit of play, and we've let Leighton Orient back in here. And we've played so, so poor today. Um, I just, I look around and I think, does anybody even want this anymore? Or have they just got the feet up on the beach thinking we're safe? We're not celebrating if we stay up on a loss. It's a terrible way to stay up. We want to be staying up by winning games, not by other teams being worse than us. Lundulu nods it onto Pochettino now, brings it forward. What can he do? He's just took too much time. He's stumbled on the ball and he's done nothing with it. Burden looking for Nathaniel George and it's headed straight back to the keeper. And he hoofs it long and angles in here, in behind the defenders. And Oxley should hold on to that for me. Really should hold on to that. But he's put it round for a corner, which Leighton Orient come forward and White off the line. Right, time for a change. Pochettino's having a terrible game, so we'll put Lundulu on that left-hand side. Hart comes on for Ralph, who, frankly, should have been taken off a long, long time ago, viewers. No, neither of the central midfielders are having a good game either. We'll put Burden at defensive midfield. We'll bring Ding, Ding, Dieng, it's easy for me to say, off for Jagny. And there we go. Can we have any sort of impact on this game? We're going to demand more from these boys. Because we want to see something more from them. We are staying up with two games to go though. Eight points clear of Carlisle. I mean, it's all the teams doing our job for us, which is so disappointing. We need and are going to have a complete rebuild this summer. This team... Pff, I was hit the post again. This team needs remodelling from top to bottom. If we are serious about doing anything with them. And there we are. A 2-1 loss. But we do stay up on point. 
two games to go we've secured safety i'm gonna thrash the arms about and just tell the boys they weren't good enough today because they were terrible but there it is there's the confirmation we have stayed up and we can finish no higher than 14th this season if we finish any higher than 18th i'll be very much surprised we could go as low as 21st to be honest so i wouldn't be half surprised if we ended up finishing there the way we've just performed in those two games we'll leave it there for today viewers and if you join me again tomorrow we will conduct the season review and have a look at who could be staying and who could be going in the south end team ready for a summer rebuild if you have enjoyed that video viewers don't forget to smash that like button for me share the video around Subscribe to the channel, turn your little notification bell on so you know when a video drops. It all means so much to the channel and punches that algorithm in the face. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you again for more next time.